clarity up level your mindset clear and heal energetic blockages so that you can manifest the glory of god that is you that is within you welcome to the channel welcome to the channel welcome to the channel i hope that you're feeling peaceful productive prosperous and most importantly that you are living your life passionately let's get you some daily healing inspiration we're going to be using the oracle cards today i feel but the first couple of things we're going to talk about are going to be the major arcana energies that are showing up around you at this particular time now keep in mind that whenever you see this message it's a timeless message it's for you there's something in this message for you however you may need to extrapolate because this is a general message for whomever may see it so everything is not going to apply but there may be what in the world maybe so what in the heck did I just, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh, I just brought that box in from the, the porch of the frame. Yeah, and I guess it had a lot of dust on it. Wow, we we. So I hope y'all are feeling good today. It's been a minute. I'm going to get back on track. I just did another video that's in the queue. If you haven't purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, Peace, Please do so. I hope that you all are out here in creation, bending reality, and insulating yourself from a lot of the negativity that is trying to come in and usurp not only your vibration, but your time, your resources, your money, your peace of mind, and everything else. This card I keep seeing, y'all, and it's the hanged one. I've seen that a few times. So for some of you all, it could be a major decision that you're needing to make that is going to be the decision to get you moving again and pull you out of this sense that everything is stopped or that your life is suspended or that there's a lack of growth or there's some type of stagnation or some kind of a pause. It may be a major decision that you are making. Let's take a look at what are the two major messages that spirit wants you to consider at this time and how it applies to your life. And depending upon how far we get, this may comprise the bulk of what we're going to talk about today. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm going to pull an oracle from this deck. I haven't used it in a minute here. All right, what are the messages? I'm not gonna jump today. We're gonna shuffle until we feel intuitively that the message we need is here, and then we're gonna address it by pulling, we're gonna pull it towards us by uh, selecting two cards, okay? Cut the deck. Let's take these two cards. First card is the High Priestess card. Okay, it's reversed, but nevertheless, we're going to talk about the fullness of this message here. The High Priestess is about, it can be duplicity, it can be balance, it can be balancing, polarities. It's sort of uh, the card that forms the bridge between the physical world and the spiritual world. It has to do with our intuition, the subconscious, and that which is beneath the surface. Uh, oftentimes that which is beneath the surface is quiet and it is called upon or it's called up by something that happens in our life. So if this is relating to intuition, there's something that you need to pay attention to right now that is being um, revealed to you in a way that may not necessarily be totally conscious. With that card trying to come up um, in some kind of crazy way, it could be that you are not heeding the call or you're not paying attention to something that you really need to listen to with regard to some insight about your life, okay? The next card that we have is the world reverse. There's a lesson that needs to be learned that perhaps you haven't learned and it has to do with you listening to your higher guidance. Mm -hmm. Underneath the deck, we have the moon card. Whether it's reversed or right side up, we're talking about hidden things, things that are beneath the surface, things that you cannot always see. Everything in our life is teeming with energy, is teeming with life, 
and whether or not we're paying attention to sometimes some of these things, they come up to be seen. And so with the moon here, there's something beneath the surface that you need to take a look at. Usually when our intuition is guiding us towards something that's hidden or towards something that we don't want to deal with or we don't want to address, we try not to look at it. We try to suppress it or we try to put it down. But this is coming up. It's going to continue to come up for your review because there's something that's needing to be illuminated. And for whatever um, the reason, you're not going to move to the next part of your cycle, to the next part of your lesson, or to the next phase of your life until you master this. This is something that you're going to have to master, okay? And I feel like this is related to something in your life that is not supposed to move forward. With that star underneath the moon, reverse, um... It could be you needing to pay attention to something that could take you into a dark place or that can further confound you and cause you not to be able to, to, to trust some of the things around you that you need to be able to trust. All right? Namely yourself, life, and the process. Hmm. The world can sometimes relate to travel, y'all. Um, it can relate to major opportunities that we are considering that can place us uh, in front of people that are outside of our um, comfort zone, sometimes outside of our immediate community and village. But what do you know, to see that High Priestess card and that Moon card and both of them coming up like they have, the, the sense that I'm getting right now is really having to do with something that you're needing to see. And to see clearly in order to go to the next level of something in your life is something that maybe you haven't been taking a look at. What other oracle messages are on the table for our beautiful butterflies and transformation? What other oracle messages? One more. Let's get one more card. I am transcendent of time and space. I am one with God. And we have, wow, we have abundance here. I was thinking that that was like, that's the, that's the cover, but it's not. This is a abundance. And then this card here is your path. Having the courage to follow your path. Courage sometimes comes with the need to see things and make connections with certain um, truths that allow us to be able to move forward. There's something about you needing to have the courage and the confidence to move forward. That's really, really huge in terms of manifesting the things that we want. Having the understanding to know that taking the first step is the only step that you need to take. The rest will come. You don't have to be able to see everything from start to finish. But that whatever it is that's related to your path here and you needing to have that courage or that extra oomph or that self-belief to go, to go forward, um, it's a part of the, the plan for your abundance. It's the part of the plan that's going to move you Further, So some of you may have really been getting some type of inklings or some type of hidden knowledge coming to you or some kind of awareness that's important for you um, that's really there to help you believe in yourself but help you to begin to become more strong in following your intuition. Maybe there's something that you're supposed to be doing that's an important part of the direction that your life is supposed to go into uh, for the next short term future and there's something that you haven't done maybe you don't believe you have all the answers maybe you can't see everything well you don't have to see everything your eyes are 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 spiritual okay the true eye is a spiritual eye and all you need to do is follow your heart and keep moving forward all right what else do we need to know this is the believe in yourself deck and some of you may be really needing to believe in yourself, but to believe in that hidden guidance, that divine guidance that comes through all the time. See, you activate that divine knowledge or that intuition even more when you take the step. You have to initiate 
something in your life in order to feel the flow of that coming in, which means you have to take the first step. You have to take the step to move forward. And then those antlers up there are going to begin to act as antennas and they're going to help you to get the information that you need. But something is, is being illuminated or it's, it's, it's coming to your attention. All right. We have the shark card underneath. We're all just stardust. Okay. And castle is time for healing, not war. All right, so there could be a situation that some of you are needing to put some distance between yourself and that situation, but you're needing to do it in a way that um, is not going to sound an alarm. You need to do it in a way that is non-confrontational, okay? The universe, we're all just stardust. This feels like an, an overarching message that's saying... As big as you think your problems are, they're nowhere near as, as significant. Uh, perhaps you're taking something too serious. Perhaps you're not recognizing that there is a path um, that you are on that is also a protective path that's also unfolding so that things work out for you. We're all just stardust. We, we are specks of sand on the beach, all right? We're having a series of experiences that have been ordained for us at this time that our souls have signed up for. So we're never too important to ourselves. We're never more important than anyone else. We are all in this journey together, and that's important to recognize. I feel like the universe also, the other, the other message here is that the universe uh, has your back and that there's something coming in. Uh, with this connection card, there's something coming in to help to either relieve you of a potential problem or to help you to have some insight about a particular direction you have to go in. Confidence and courage are only going to come with practice. Okay, they don't. These are not things that we can nurture by just sitting back. We have to take these steps. It's the taking the step and accomplishing something. And, and feeling um, the result of action that causes you to have more and more courage, that causes you to take more and more action towards whatever it is that you're needing to take action with in your life. With the abundance card down there, all right, and the universal card being down there, or the universe card being down there, it's important for you to get on the path that you know you're supposed to be on which in a lot of ways involves you getting away from something that you're not supposed to be on the path of. It takes some confidence. It takes some courage. It takes uh, aligning your, your, your uh, inner resources and your inner strength, pulling on those aspects of you that are there, even if you have to dig deep in order to be able to move forward. Whatever this is, once you begin to trust yourself in those messages that are coming through to you more readily, you're going to be able to move past this. Get that lesson and keep on going. Let's pull three cards. I have the seven of wands. For some of you, there's nothing else to fight for anymore. This is not something that may be salvageable. It's something that is needing you to move away. Six of Pentacles here is about giving. It's about reciprocity. It's about getting what you deserve as well. And then we have the star card. Yeah, we have the star card. We have the star under here. And then we have this the stars here. All right, so this is, I feel like it's about following the light. All right. It's about trusting that there's a divine hand in something. And for some of you, it's really, this is, this may be the path for you to get what it is that you deserve. But that seven of wands there being reversed. And here we have the high priestess again at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Trust your instincts, trust your visions, trust your dreams, trust your intuition. I have the seven of wands here. Something may not be worth fighting for anymore, okay? 
Um, something may not be worth going the distance for anymore. We have to swim away from this situation. So there's something that either does not honor you or it's not the best, best path for you. And so you need to be in the energy of giving and receiving. All right. Receiving is what more of us need to be in the energy of doing. If we, if we spend more time giving as much um, accolade to receiving, then we would recognize that perhaps there are people around us who need to be giving more so that we can receive. But receiving is allowing the abundance that you are deserving of and, th and that is rightly yours to actually come into your life. Okay, the stars are aligning and things are lining up, but something is not lining up behind something in your life that is not supporting you or that is not supposed to be on your path. So think about the messages that you're getting. Think about the people that you've been talking to as of late and some of the things that they've said. And with this Knight of Wands card here and this High Priestess at the bottom here, um, this is like telling you to race towards your dreams, to track them down, to follow your passions, to move, to get, get going and take some action here. The wands are cards of momentum, of movement, of taking action. This is your fire energy, okay? So there's something that you're needing to light behind you or to get you going, a fire that you need to light, something that is being ignited and you're being called or pulled in the direction of that thing. This is a destiny thing, okay? Because the Six of Pentacles, it's about reciprocity, but it's also about giving and receiving. Something is trying to come in to pull you towards your destiny, but you have to meet it halfway. And meeting it halfway means you have to let go of this other energy over here. With the uh, High Priestess card being at the bottom of the deck, something is no longer fruitful for you. So you're being called away from it. You're being asked to see with your spiritual eye, to feel with your heart, and to connect with that higher part of yourself, which knows the truth that sometimes the mind is not able to ascertain. I want to get a couple of, um, of these angel messages for you before we close out. We have one to fall. Let's grab two more. We have a second one there. And remember, whoever's watching this message and whoever this is coming for, confidence. Okay, confidence. Courage is that it's sort of having the will um, to execute your will over something. But the confidence is something that you build through experience. So if you don't feel confident right now, don't worry about that. Just take the first step. When you take the first step, the second step will come, and then the next step step after that will come. The secret to success is getting started. We have, what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. We have the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Some of you might be going through a stressful period and you need that purifying natural sea salt to wash over you and to clear you and to lighten your, your step and to lighten your vibe. Um, I love the ocean and I love being near water. Oh my gosh. Even if I don't get in, it's, it's just so healing. Perfect timing, which is that star message again. And I feel like saying to you that you're one with all that is. We have that connection card. We have this ocean card. We have this stardust card. Like you're, you're one with all that is. You have the power to draw anything to you. You have the power to have any experience you have a direct line into the spiritual web that conjoins all of being. There's nothing stopping you except yourself, okay? Things are lining up for you right now to help you to move to the next level of your development, which is going to put you on the path that you're supposed to be on. Some of you are needing to have confidence 
to do that and have the courage to push through and others of you are needing to disassociate from something that is a drain that may not be helpful to you and that may not be healthy to you. So the perfect timing card is here and it says, now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are right for your success Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. We are all connected. Okay, always remember to, and I love this. This is, a, I think, comes from a movie point that, but what is, uh, what it is that you seek is seeking you. Whatever it is that you want, I don't care what it is, whatever it is that you desire. Uh, whatever it is that you feel called towards or pulled towards, it is seeking you, all right? It is seeking to come to you. So the gates of grace are already open for you. All you have to do is begin to walk through them. And a lot of times it takes confidence to walk through these doors because these are different doors. And with this world card here, um, the energy that is around you that you're being asked to pay attention to is learning those old lessons, stepping up to the plate, closing out the doors that need to be closed so that new ones can open, but trusting that you have a guide by your side and that your intuition is helping to pull you towards those things that are for your highest good, that inner voice, that higher self, that connection that you have. Okay, where there is no mediation, you're directly connected. So pay attention to those messages as they continue to reveal themselves. Do not turn your back on those things. These have to do with the desires of your heart. I hope that this message reaches you and that you're able to take something away from this message. I love you all. I appreciate you. I hope to see you again for the next message. If this is... um. The first time that you've come to this channel, please continue to return. More will be revealed each time you come back. And if you are uh, at, at, at your home plate, if this is your home um, and you come on here regularly or you're a regular subscriber or you're someone that comments, just know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I'm very, very thankful uh, that our paths have crossed. Much love to you all. Continue to move in the ways in your life that you are needing to move in, to take on those things in your life that feel larger than life sometimes because everything starts with one step. And as long as you take the step, I guarantee you the rest is already ordered. Just get to the first base, okay? Dot com today. If you're looking for natural hair and skin care products made with my own hands, go to IamMelaninMagic.com. If you are not using Melanin Magic hair oil, then what are you using? Hi, I'm the creator of the I Am Melanin Magic skin and hair care brand. The I Am Melanin Magic hair oil is our premier product. It is the leading high-end supplement for your mane. It reduces breakage and promotes growth and can be used on all hair types and looks from straightened hair and micro locks to wigs and protective styles. It's antifungal, antibacterial, and it's antifung. So you know you're protected. It softens and conditions your hair and it's anti-frizz too. Hey guys, so I started using this oil called I Am Melanin Magic since February of this year and check out the new growth. Like, it's insane. Not only did it help with my new growth, but it smells amazing too. See the dramatic improvements Denisha has made after not having hair around her edges for three years. Tanya's hair had been like this for almost 20 years and while getting injections. Her doctor said it was scarred and would never grow back. After four weeks of using I Am Melanin Magic, this is what she looked like. I Am Melanin Magic did this to Danette's hair after a short time. This is really all your hair needs. It's rich with antioxidants, loaded with growth promoting ingredients. Look at the growth of my hair. It's amazing. The product speaks for itself. Order yours today and don't delay. Don't delay, purchase yours today. I am Melanin Magic and so are you.